Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with this quick video because I wanted to show you this uh, box system. I'm not sure what the name of this thing is called. It's, um, it's called the Shop Box. So I did a review on this a while ago, and this is the first time I'm really actually putting it into semi-full production-ish. So right here is um, my key fives that I created. I created a bunch of them for a show that will also go into my Shopify store. And so what I did was I made a list of them and then I, I put down how many I made, if I photographed them or not, and then when I upload them to my Shopify store. And then I have the shop box set up where instead of using the swing arm for your phone if you can see here this is my camera this is a uh i don't know some kind of canon it's a canon camera one of the small ones and i have it propped up on inside of there i have it all focused so every picture will look the same and then i have this swing arm thing that we use when we're taking pictures top down so i put these in here put the thing product here and then i can see it because this screen this screen moves here this moves so i have it tilted up so the camera is always in a tilted position and i'm sitting in my chair and I just put these where it go so that I can take a picture I use a stylus because this is also a touchscreen camera so I look in the camera make sure it's where it go or a good shot and then I use a stylus to take the picture and then the arrow to come out of it and then I switch it out and I change if you go to Michael's, I bought this from HSN a while ago, but if you go to Michael's or something, you can buy different floors. They just came out with different, these are different cardboards. Some of them came with it and some of them did not. I bought a bunch, I bought every pack. I bought the plain and I bought the textured, but you can also use scrapbooking paper if you like. 12 by 12, I think these are 13 by 13 or something, but you can use scrapbook paper or whatever you like. They also have like the little curtain thing. So you cover up the back walls if I was doing some taller. Um, and next I'll be in those bags on the floor is my, my hat not hate bags of um, hats that I've already done. And I'm gonna put them on a little head and put them in there. And so you can use this box, this shot box for all of your videos. Like this is, I'm gonna be taping, um, these are the mug rugs, one of the mug rugs that I've created. And so you can do anything that's this diameter. I wanna say uh, 13 by 13 space. I think you'll be able to take good pictures and then like if you see the way that uh, I have the camera, there is a swing arm so you can take a picture of something if it's standing up like this because these also cover up the back wall so it makes it look like there's a floor. So if you see that, it'll make it look like a floor and you put it like that. So then you got contrasting, um, a contrast between the floor and the wall. So when you're taking a picture, it looks like it's standing up on top of something and not floating in the air. And so I was just working on this and I wanted to show you, see that's the bottom of my camera is focused, the focus lens is focused all the way out. So then I can see the picture as it's laying on the floor. And I just wanted to show you this because these are the kind of things that we have to do when we have shops and everybody's like, I want to have a channel. I want to have a shop. I want to have blah, blah, blah. But they never understand the back end work that it takes in order to have a shop or have a, a Shopify store, or eBay store and all that kind of stuff. Because literally I'm had to make the product. So I had to make it. 
I had to put the little things on there. I had to buy the bags. I had to buy the backer cards because this is a backer card. I had to um, buy the rings, the thread that made this, the machine that made this. Also, in my not thinking about it, I like put these all in, in the baggies without taking pictures. And so now I have to go and unbag them all and take pictures and then rebag them and rename them. And after that, I gotta upload the data to the actual store. And so that's one of the things that I have to do is I have to put them in the store one by one. And that all takes time, energy, and work for us. Now, because we love this stuff, it sometimes does not feel like work. Like this part right here to me, taking pictures and stuff feels like work because I don't want to do it. I'd rather be making a product. But I just really wanted to show you what this was going to look like. Like I'm going to swing slowly because I don't want to give my own self whiplash. This is my used to be sewing room. I have to turn it back into a den because well my family like i don't have nowhere to sit and i don't want them to sit in my living room so i have this whole stack of stuff over here that i have to take pictures of and do the same thing blah 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 and then like over here is all my hat and i hate because i'm getting ready for the new furniture to get put in this room but this is like my little setup until that furniture comes and so in this room because i have a full craft room next door too but you see what I'm saying? There's a lot of back end work and you probably see little stuff tucks because I have my um my knitting stuff on the floor and my Addy machines and that's my little Centra like machine and all of the stuff from this room. So it's really, I really wanted to just show you kind of like a back end, back door type of thing. So don't get upset when people be like, okay, I want such and such for my whatever, because there's a lot of work that goes into it, not just the Pacific piece. And so we have to pay people their due. We have to pay people for their work. Now, the one thing I don't get is, I don't get the, the what you call that, uh, shipping. You got 50,000 packages paying the different amounts for shipping for this one truck that's going in that direction anyway. So I'm on the fence in the, in the way of shipping, but some of the products, especially people who personally make their products, give them a break. When my Shopify store open, please don't be, why are those so expensive? Well, they're expensive because I took the time to do all the work for them and the people who helped me with these they took the time and I have to pay them and all the buy all the equipment and buy all the stuff and they're comparative for what I had to pay. So give some of these shop owners a break. Don't be so quick to dismiss them because they price cost two dollars more than the people down the street. It may have taken them two dollars more to make it than the people down the street or maybe that supplier was better with them or they had more money to buy more thread than the the last person and if you're the person on my side don't don't give people a hard time when they complain because that's their reality that's not your reality people have to shop from their pockets so it goes both ways it, the reciprocation of commerce goes both ways if someone complains about the high price of your product that is not your customer that's all that means if they can't afford it that's not your customer don't badger them because they're complaining about the prices that's not your cross to bear that's theirs and at this point i wanted to just show you this and so i'm gonna get off this soapbox and i'm gonna get back to taking these pictures thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in the next one